Good morning folks and you're very welcome back to the vlog. This morning sees us at South Stack Lighthouse on Hollyhead in North Wales. Um, beautiful morning here. Better morning on the far side of the hillside behind me. I'll just give you a quick look at it back there and uh, there's a fair bit of colour coming in the sky. We're getting touches of colour Sorry about all this swinging now, you probably got a headache. Um, just in the uh, clouds uh, above me, uh, or behind me, should I say, and below me there, we have uh, the actual uh, lighthouse itself. Give you a look at that there, okay? And um, light still on on it. Um, gonna try and shoot it a bit now lots of different areas to shoot from the the wall up here um, and later we'll go f closer to the actual island itself a dead calm morning so no action in the actual um sea itself how bad if there was i probably would have done um long exposure um super color behind darren over there on the horizon as the sun is just rising at this minute it really is um, um an evening location and the plan is to get back here later this evening so that we can um we can fire off a few shots and hopefully if we're lucky the the sun will be going down the forecast is good for it uh, we're very lucky there so look we'll forge on catch you in a minute Um, when you come to South Stack, make sure that you shoot at every angle because then when you go home, you can judge um, uh, looking at your um, uh, laptop screen or uh, computer screen exactly which is the best shot. You, it's not always best, obviously, on site. And what you think mightn't work here works when you look at it on a bigger screen. That's the first thing. The second thing is use the lines of the actual walls as lead-in lines. In fact, in parts, there might be railings as well. I'm trying to get this pointed to you. Uh, and um, try and avoid them if you can, but they can be helpful. Um, in some cases, you've got, let's say, the actual track which zigzags and winds its way down to the actual lighthouse itself. I'm about a, a quarter of the way down, maybe a third of the way down. And again, taking shots at different intervals as I'm coming down. And then also, as Darren is doing there, Darren, can you just take the shot at the lighthouse itself? Uh, what he's doing also is he's getting in just he's using a 1635 at about 16 lighthouse is probably uh in the just the line of the upper third of the actual um the the camera itself and then what he's doing is at the lower third you're getting the actual uh, path snaking its way down to the actual lighthouse itself so again using the walls as kind of a prop really there are some cables electricity cables going down but you can avoid those they're off to the right <laughs>
One other thing, it is a location to take an awful lot of the shots in portrait orientation using either the steps or the pathways or the walkways or the walls as leading lines. So with a 1635, often locations really do need uh, um, a landscape orientation, but these portrait very, very much. Okay, greetings lads. Uh, well, we've arrived back at South Stack Lighthouse. Sun is as we wished for it, uh, in the sky and shining right at us. No clouds in between, which is fantastic. Um, much better location uh, at sunset. Difficult to shoot into the sun, so I'm using reverse grads. I'm using a 1.2 initially. And basically I'll just line it up along the horizon and it'll reduce the strength of the sun so that I'll be able to shoot into it and um, so I won't have any blown out highlights at least not too many of them anyway and then afterwards I'll use as it's getting closer to the actual horizon I will use a 0.9 which is a three stop uh, reverse grad because this sun will be losing its strength I will take shots um, here I'll use the walls as leading lines it's an awful lot busier now than it was early this morning no surprise really because people are up people are out they're seeing the sun going down and they want to see it going down at South Stack it's one of those spots a bit like the Giants Causeway you know it's a it, it's an iconic spot to go and look at the sun going down um, also if I might just turn around at that particular tower over there you can see it over again lovely light shining on that too and now a bit of differentiation appearing uh, between it and the background because of the brightness of the walls so I might shoot and there are sheer sheer cliffs there uh, going right down so give you I don't know whether you can see that now give you an idea of what it's like um, I'm gonna just put it in front of me there lads and you can see it yourself okay so exciting cliffs uh, yeah, it's not something you'd like to fall off of, to be honest, okay? Maybe some divers would be delighted with that. Lovely less light like coming in there now, and so I'm not gonna dill-dally around. I'm gonna go and shoot uh, in, in as many different possible locations here, i.e. at the top of the steps, further down the steps, maybe in the rocks over by the car park. And again, as I said, shooting at the, the particular tower over uh, yonder as well, okay? Catch you in a while, take care.
I've moved over further again now um, from the actual steps to another location to the left steps are over there lots of people around here lads they're really enjoying this particular sunset uh, unique and extremely strong lovely ships coming into the sun as well too now uh, ferries as they travel across to Ireland um, listen thank you very much for joining me if you liked what you saw please give me a like it certainly helps develop the channel and if you um, haven't subscribed well why not do so and join me for more adventures uh, and Darren and myself for more adventures on our trip away uh, on this kind of I think we call it a channel tour or maybe a Celtic channel tour that sounds good talk to you later